what's going on guys and welcome back terror squad to another hunter hunter reaction um i know it's been a while it's been a week uh, some people have been asking if i stop uploading two times a week i have not not it's not an official thing you get what i'm saying like it's not official that i've not been uploading two times a week i want to but at the current time i'm trying to deal with some stuff i'm trying to to organize some stuff for my business and it's getting a bit busy a little bit busy for me so i'm just trying to i'll get reactions out when i can um i'm still trying to react when i you know get home but i'm getting home extremely late so that's the issue like i'm i'm getting home like at 11 12 o'clock at night um so it's causing a bit of a so on the days when i'm you know sometimes like today i'm not going anywhere so i'm just gonna try to knock out as many reactions as i can and schedule them out for the rest of the week so um today is just one of those days so that's really what's happening right now i know the channel has a schedule that i really want to keep well if i didn't have anything else to do other than youtube everything will be on schedule but unfortunately that is not the case so we just have to make do with what's up as i said if you guys want to know exactly what's going on you can just private message me on discord if you're already over there if you're not on the discord channel please join the discord channel if you want to know exactly what's going on with me you can always go over there and send me a direct message and you will get an answer okay um just mention me in a in a thread or something and more than likely you're gonna get an answer immediately or you know hours later whatever the situation is um so because i i i'm never gonna forget about my youtube channel i'm just not I'm not going to forget about you guys. It's just that it's hard right now to get the reactions out because I'm getting home super late and I don't want to be noisy. Okay. I don't want to be noisy when I get home. Plus, I'm super tired. Like, I'm drained because it's like early morning to late at night. What, um, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to prepare some things to make things better for the channel also. Um, so... Thank you guys so much for the continued support for the concern man it's 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 awesome to know that you know people who don't even know you in person they, you know what i'm saying like they are concerned about you so that's awesome man. i'm trying to build a community over here so let's talk about hunter 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 um right now we're about to finish up the greed island arc as you guys have told me is not many episodes of it left and then you guys claim that the next arc is going to be even better so let's jump into these episodes man um last time you know they finished up the the nen volleyball game um oh no not volleyball um dodgeball the nen dodgeball game with razor you know finding out the relationship between razor and jing so that was pretty cool to see so now um <laughs> now they're gonna go up against what is his name again through the bomber so let's see how that turns out i'm curious to see how this is going to end uh how good it's going to be i'm not going to stop reacting until this arc is finished today so i don't know how many episodes it's going to be if it's just a couple more episodes or three four episodes whatever it is i'm not going to stop reacting i'm i want to do a good amount of episodes for you guys today so i don't know so let's jump into it and we'll see what happens okay if it's even i'm gonna have to take take a break and then come back i want to give you guys a good amount of episodes um so you don't feel too bad okay so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys after the review i mean <laughs> after the watch come on, see for the review okay thanks All right, so here we are after four episodes, episode 72 to 75, I think. Um, so, yeah, 72 to 75, just one, two, three, four episodes. 
So, um, yes, those episodes were really cool, man. Wrapping up the Greed Island arc. Um, pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. I, I can't even lie. Um, this arc, I want to say it's not as good as Kuripika's arc. That arc, Kuripika's arc was way better. And the reason why the reason why I'm saying this is because just not just the hype behind it. Green Island Greed Island was more of a laid back arc. It was more of laid back um what um you know our two main characters getting stronger, meeting you know what I'm saying, meeting Bisky and you know what I'm saying? They went up against a tough opponent, but they kind of took them down in like one episode. So it wasn't like anything drawn out um none of the battles were really drawn out um but also it was it, it was a learning experience of learning more about who jing is and the stuff that he's put in gone's way before he gets to him so the reason why i like the last arc better let me put it into context for you the reason why i last the reason why I love that one a little bit, a, a little bit better. I think it's a lot. The, the, um, the last arc was a lot better than this one. This this arc, the Greed Island arc, is a bit slower than that arc. We also got introduced to so many good characters in the last arc. We're talking about. Um, we got to see Silva and, and Zeno, right? The the um. The family, right? The 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 um, Killer was family, Zoldic family. We got to see them fight. We got to see Crollo fight. We got to see the um most of the people. The attitude we got introduced to the to the Spider Troop in that arc. We we learned about the underground, the 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 mafia. So many good, so many good Nan abilities were uh, were were introduced in that arc. You know what I'm saying? This arc we didn't get this we saw somebody with a radar um that was new um of course bisky's ability we got introduced to that and the bomber guy the guy that can exercise and then um got some some good ones in this one too but the last one was just unbelievable like these abilities they weren't like out of this world abilities you know what i'm saying like maybe the black dude Maybe the black dude. The bomber one was pretty interesting too. But maybe the the black guy had a really interesting ab ability to exercise. And then the way how he does it, you know what I'm saying? Kind of voodoo, voodoo style kind of kind of thing, right? So there was some interesting one in this. But I think the ones in Kurapika's arc, um, I don't know what what do you guys call that arc? Kurapika's arc, the Spider Troop arc. What do you call that arc? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The Mafia arc. The, 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 um, the, <laughs> the, what, what do you guys call that arc in Hunter x Hunter? Let me know in the comment section. Listen, guys, but this series, this arc, as I said, last arc, I think was better than this arc. I'm happy to see that he's about to meet this father. That, that seem, seems like what's going to happen, but then again, it could be more obstacles, it could be something else leading into the next arc. Who the hell knows? This series is so freaking weird when it comes on when it comes on to the relationship between God and his father. So is it more training or you know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen in, in, in this arc? You know what I'm saying? Like to me he's still a deadbeat. So some really interesting stuff happened this arc, man, that I really liked. When it comes on to to gone and killer abilities being getting better and better and better and better um gun takes way too many damn risks man i wonder what the plan was like for that he decided to go against um i'm glad he in a way i'm glad because we got to see an entertaining fight and to show his his guts you know what I'm saying? Showing his 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 determination to to um to become stronger. Cause really, all he really wanted to do was test how strong he is, 
and he's really not really gotten a chance to actually show that in a fight fight you know what i'm saying other than when he fought um his soka gunners hasn't really gotten a serious fight until right then um who did he fight the biggest fight before that was who um in in in, in kurapika's heart he didn't really fight anyone he just they were just running around they got captured you know that was all about kurapika he didn't really had a serious fight you know a fight to to the end where you know what i'm saying so this was guns like other than when he fought isoka in the heavens arena this was his first fight like straight up to the death fight okay so i was happy to see that finally we got to see him use the the rock paper rock move on someone so that that was pretty cool to see so i'm definitely looking forward to the rest man as i said before in that episode where after they went when they decided not to kill the um their you, you know kill the bombers and stuff like that like that was my favorite part of the entire arc to be honest because that's the 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 lessons that you learn there and i wish everybody would think like that because you know what i'm saying like they there's no doubt about it that there's evil people in the world. They are evil people in the world. We we can't deny that. We can't say that there no nobody is bad. They're bad people in the world. But and 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 is a reason, you know, why I don't believe in the death penalty. And in a lot of times people, you know, I've had debates upon debates about this where people is like, so you're trying to tell me that rapists don't deserve to die, serial killers don't deserve to die. And, and stuff like that because they've killed people and, you know what I'm saying, murderers and stuff like that. And I've always said, no, I don't think they deserve to die. And it's a contro it's a controversy. And, you know what I'm saying, you know, and people are going to be like, well, if it will, what if it was your family member? Yeah, I probably wish death upon that person. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't want to see that person die. I think everybody deserves forgiveness just like how i deserve forgiveness i believe that everybody else deserves forgiveness they deserve another chance you get what i'm saying they deserve another chance to um to prove themselves to change and yes they may have taken lives you get what i'm saying but that's that was their decision prior yes some people don't change well let them rot in prison let them rot in prison man i believe that yes i do believe in the fact that they may never see the light of day again let that be a possibility but i don't believe anyone anyone should take a life it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if it's death by lethal lethal injection it does not matter to me electric chair however you want to go back to whatever the time yes i mean like seeing it in entertainment you know what i'm saying i may i may talk of it and be like oh kill that do whatever whatever and get hyped about it in an episode or, or i'm watching tv or whatever but that's that world in the real world that i'm living in i can separate the two and i think most of us should also so i do I, I'm glad that they that he portrayed something like that in this anime, um, the writer and the author, because that was really it was really a deep moment and for you to think about things and be like, would you have this kind of mercy on somebody that just tried to kill you? And it's true what 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 Bisky was saying, like in in the middle of war, in the middle of war, in the middle of a battle, both of you go into that battle preparing to kill but the battle is over if 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 you've beaten someone you get what i'm saying if you've beaten someone they're tied up it's time for mercy it's just like um what was it again um i'm trying to remember i'm trying to remember man this this classic scene um i don't know if you guys have played god of war I, and it's 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 classic 
even though it just happened. If you guys have played the new God of War, you know what I'm talking about. At the end of God of War, um, spoiler alert, if you have not played it, I suggest you go and play that game. But spoiler alert, you can skip this part. Um, okay, spoiler alert, click off the video, whatever the situation is. But in, but, but in God of War at the end, right, Kratos is about to, to um, he's beaten up on Baldo, on Baldo, right? And his son comes over, Kratos' son, Atreus, he comes over and he's like, father, he's beaten. You know what I'm saying? There's no need to, you know what I'm saying, kill him or whatever the situation is. Kratos gets up off of him. Baldur still gets up and tries to kill his mom. And Kratos decided to end him. Okay? So, mercy is always due when you know your opponent is is, is beaten, man. I, I love um, the fact that you can consider that. You know what I'm saying? So, there's no harm, no foul. So thank you guys for tuning in as always, man. I had a lot to say in that, of course. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate. I love all of y'all, man. Make sure you you um if you if you're over here, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long one, but whatever. Thank you guys for watching as always. You're Turn Squad. I am Mr. Turbo Reacts, and I will see you guys on the next Hunter Hunter reaction. Of course. Peace.